Welcome to In The Workshop. In this episode, I'm going to be running a Mammoth steamroller using an alternative fuel. I know that there are alternative fuels like the solid fuel pellets. I generally use methylated spirit because in this steamroller, it's fitted with a methylated spirit burner. The methylated spirit burner is the one from my small Mammod traction engine that I showed in a video a while back. This steamroller is very old. It doesn't have the reversing lever on it. And by the sound of it, I think it needs some oil. The first thing to do is to oil every moving part of the engine. I'm using my normal steam engine lubricating oil for this, not steam oil, it's just a lubricating oil for bearings. When I was a kid and played with these things, I used to use three in one oil, and I found that to be very good generally. And now, as if by magic, the squeaking stopped. By the way, I'm going to refer to this as a Mamod steamroller. I know the real pronunciation is Maymod, and unless I'm completely wrong, any word in the English language that is spelt M-A-M is pronounced Mam, not Mame. I would normally use a drop of the blue stuff to fire these sort of things. This is methylated spirits, and it burns very well and very hot. But I've often wondered if these methylated spirit burners would run using things like brandy that you put on Christmas puddings. But unfortunately, I don't have any brandy. It's not one of my favourite drinks. It's time, I think, to fill the boiler. I have an original small Mamod plastic funnel, and I'm filling the boiler with water, but it would be a good idea to take out the level plug first so that I don't accidentally overfill the boiler. This is a very small model, and so is the boiler. As soon as any water comes out of the hole in the back head, it's time to fit the plug, fit the safety valve, and off we go. When I thought it was getting near, I just tipped the engine backwards, and yes, a bit of water came out, so a very small amount, maybe another funnel full, and it will be ready to go. As I just mentioned, I don't have any brandy, but what I do have is some single malt whiskies. I'm going to try some Talisker Sky and some Glenfiddich. As an added bonus in this episode, I'm going to also compare the taste of the two whiskies. My personal favourite is some stuff called Lagavulin, but I haven't got any of that. But I think the Glenfiddich comes a close second. When I test them in a glass, it tastes really good. Looking on the boxes, the Glenfiddich has a slightly higher alcohol volume than the other one. By this time, I was really starting to wrestle with the concept of the entire video. Am I really going to use Scotch whiskey in a methylated spirit burner? And to make it worse, I think this burner leaks slightly. I've only used a very small amount of this 12-year-old malt whiskey, and once I light the burner, it's burning OK. So is the workbench. Oh dear, the glass is empty. Just bear with me for a moment while I refill it. This video was filmed on the 28th of December, and it was quite cold in the workshop. But thanks to the Glenfiddich, I'm warming up fast. I suppose I'd better put some in the spirit burner. As usual, I'm using my small blowtorch to light the burner, and yes, success, the Glenfiddich is alight. And when I test it with my hand, it's giving off quite a bit of heat. Time to place the burner in the firebox and raise some steam. I'll just burn off the surplus from the workbench. And yes, it definitely seems to burn OK. Although I do notice on the bench that it doesn't burn away completely. That's because it's not 100% alcohol. This is the other whiskey from the Isle of Skye. And as you can see, there's only about half a bottle left because I do drink this periodically. As a direct comparison between the two types of whiskey, I think I do prefer the Glenfiddich slightly more than this one. My daughter Charlotte bought me another bottle of single malt whiskey, but I didn't use that because it's in a really nice display box with a couple of glasses. After warming my hands over the heat from the bench, I poured another glass. And I also refilled the spirit burner. So what are my initial observations when using 12-year-old single malt whiskey versus the normal methylated spirit? There are good points and bad points. It definitely smells better when it's burning, but it doesn't burn as hot and as long as methylated spirit. So I added some methylated spirit to the whiskey that was already in the burner, making sure that the flame was fully out, of course, before doing this. I must source a new burner. This one really leaks badly. I can't put the burner into the steamroller because the bench is on fire, but this is easily extinguished with a wet cloth. The fire in the burner is raging ferociously, so I'm refitting the burner and scuttle to the firebox. All I have to do now is just wait a while for it to raise steam. 
and while it's doing that, I think I'll have another drop of Glenfiddich. In case you're wondering why I'm only pouring small amounts of whiskey into the glass at each time, it's just better for the aroma, and if I knock the glass over accidentally, I won't lose as much whiskey. Plus, I really have to concentrate on what I'm doing. This, after all, albeit very small, is still a steam engine. And look, we have steam. There's a bit of a steam leak where the oscillating cylinder meets the back plate. The boiler is priming badly, and there's a lot of water squirting out of the safety valve. I don't think this engine's ever been run. I've certainly never run it. I've had the thing for maybe 30 years. And I'm pretty sure that this is one of the earlier models. So maybe it's priming for the usual reasons of soldering products in the boiler. In fact, it's so old that the rubber washer on the safety valve has completely perished. And no matter what I do, it's still blowing all the steam out of the safety valve. I have no choice but to remove the fire and the mixture of methylated spirit and Scotch whisky is still burning. It does, however, have a very curious smell now. It's a cross between 12-year-old malt whisky and a bit of methylated spirit. But it's burning very cleanly, quite unlike the time when you would run out of methylated spirit and try lighter fluid in the burner. That is definitely not recommended. Here, I'm cleaning out all the old rubber from the safety valve, and I'm going to refit a silicone steam-grade o-ring. This should do the trick, it's the same principle, it's about the same thickness. But please, if there's any viewers out there who are real mammoth enthusiasts, please don't write in to tell me that this is wrong. It may be, but it works fine. After refilling the burner with a mixture of Glenfiddich and methylated spirit, in no time at all, the safety valve was blowing off, and when I applied some oil to the cylinder, the engine burst into life. I think this engine has definitely not run before because when I first turned it over and it ran under its own steam, it was slow, then suddenly it started to get faster and faster. Sitting in my workshop, drinking Glenfiddich whilst watching a steam engine run is quite a pleasant experience. I'll stop talking for a while so you can hear the sound of it and I can drink my whiskey. I don't think the cylinder is fully sealing against the port face. So in this clip, I'm just re-lubricating all of the moving parts, including down inside the cylinder and on the cylinder where it meets the port face. When I made the series about rebuilding the traction engine variant of this model, when I first reassembled it, it was about the same, but then suddenly, like this one, it picked up and now it runs okay. The whistle's handle is very loose. I think the spring is not as springy as it should be. Time for a bit of slow motion. If you rewind to the slow motion part, you'll see that there's a lot of water squirting out of the chimney, because the boiler was priming. And that's about it. To sum up, it's not a good idea to use 12-year-old single malt whiskey to run your model Mammoth steam engine. It's far better to drink it. I'd like to wish all of my viewers a very happy new year in 2021. Stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.